Attention! One thing I want you to remember, no bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won a war by making some other poor, dumb bastard die for his country. Now, man, all the stuff you've heard about America not wanting to fight about it, not want to take part in the war is a lot of horse done. Americans traditionally love to fight. American people, real American people, love the sting of battle. Now, when you were kids, you admired the champion model shooter, the fastest runner, the swiftest basketball player, and the toughest boxer. Americans love a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win at all times. You know, I, I wouldn't give a hoot in hell for a man who lost and laughed. And that is why no American ever has or ever will lose a war. Because the very thought of losing is hateful to Americans. Now, an army is a team, eats, lives, sleeps, and fights as a team. All this individuality stuff is nothing but a bunch of crap. All those bilious bastards who wrote that stuff about individuality for the Saturday Evening Post have no more real idea of battle than they do about fornicating. We have the finest army equipment and food, the best spirit, and the best men in the world. And you know, by God, I actually pity those poor bastards we're going to come out against. No, I actually do. Because now we're going to shoot the bastard. We're going to cut out his living guts and use them to grease the treads of our tanks. We're going to murder that lousy hunt bastard by the bushel. Now, I know some of you boys have been wondering, will you chicken out on the fire? Well, I wouldn't worry about that. I can assure you, every man will do his duty. Now, the Nazis are the enemy. Wade into him. Spill his blood. Shoot him in the belly. And the next time you put your hands forward into a gooey mess that a short while ago was your best friend's face, well, you'll know what to do. Now, uh, another thing I want you to remember. I don't want to receive reports that we're holding our position. We're holding no position. Let the Hun do that. We're holding no position whatsoever. We are advancing all the time. The only thing we're holding is the enemy. And we'll hold him by the nose and kick him up the ass. We'll keep kicking him up the ass. We'll kick him, we'll kick the hell out of him so we go through him like crap through a goose. There is one thing all you men will say when you get back home. And you may thank God for it. Because 30 years from now, when you're sat around your fireside with your grandson on your knee, and he asks you what you did during the Great World War II, well, you're not going to have to stand there and say, well, I shoveled shit in Louisiana. Right. I know all you sons of bitches know how I feel. You know what I want. I'd be proud to take you wonderful guys into battle. Anytime, 
anywhere. That is all.